Now, many of you have probably even seen this man on your free page. For the longest period of human time, for a man to be respected, for him to even be admired by society on any level, to some degree he had to be a warrior. So if you're out here as a man and you have no battle in your life, no conquest in your life, no form of war in your life, what do you do? This is Andrew Tate, kickboxer, philanthropist, streamer, and possible criminal. Now, for some background knowledge, this isn't Andrew Tate's first venture into the limelight. The way he was probably most prominently known before his many, many TikTok accounts was his infamous and bizarre Star Wars hating tweets. This tweet was what introduced Tate to the wider world and it prominently stated, Never seen Star Wars. None of them. Never will. OMG, you're missing out. Maybe. You're missing out on being a multi-millionaire. Keep your movie. Now, if your life was not changed by these life-altering hearings, maybe this delightful image attached to the tweet consisting of this absolute unit standing next to um, a car at a Bentley dealership with a license plate that read, Tate Sexy, would change your mind and maybe you can finally accept Tate as your lord and savior. Now, Tate is truly a man to be respected and feared, but now that you know how Tate got popular in the first place, um... Let's see how he is after this so-called resurgence that he's had, and he's probably gone from dunking on Star Wars to more of dunking on popular Twitch streamers. XQC. What's up? When did that clown move in with you? What clown? You don't see the clown in your clown. room, right? You don't see a clown? I don't see it. I, is it? Is it me? It the might mother? be you, cause I see it. Aiden, do you see the clown? <laughs> hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, now he was helped in his resurgence by Aiden Ross, and he commonly got in streams and debated and whatever with Aiden Ross and XQC, and you've probably been seeing clips of these all over your For You page too, and I've been seeing them too, and he they go on there, basically he'll call him, he'll call him a big fat smelly little fart, call him like a clown emoji, and then he'll be like, oh look, the clown is hiding from him because he's gay, he, that's the, the joke is because the clown hides from gay people and then they smoke him. And then Aiden Ross is like, LMFAO yo, Tate, that is so funny. And Tate is like, yes, that is funny. But yeah, they're mostly just dunking on them. But Aiden Ross, more importantly, gave him a platform to not even make hot takes. He makes, no, he makes nay flaming takes. Now, when he's not threatening women to, you know, uh, lay his hands on them, he's all over your short form platform of choice, whether it be TikTok, YouTube Shorts, or maybe one of those disgusting creatures that you send Snapchat to get their short fix. Now, he probably won't stopping out wherever you are. Now, Tate being the multi-millionaire, he had a delightfully devilish idea. What if I lured people into a pyramid scream under the false grant of them being able to be on the level of a exquisite Tate sexy? But if this, but what he does, if you didn't know, is him and his Tate Scholar college, college student people are told to promote Tate content and then put a link in the comment section or description of these said Tate College videos, which are mostly consist of the videos you've seen before. Where it would be Tate, they'll probably put some captions, maybe put the names in yellow, maybe Tate epically roasts this streamer, talks about how he says women cook clean and get to the kitchen or whatever. And then he's like, yep, you just got owned or whatever. And he wants you to post these videos. So as well as you're inflating his ego, you're also promoting him. But uh, let's go back to what he does. So he um, so he gives you this stuff. And then you take the link that they give you. Because you have to pay a certain amount of money to get in the first place. Then once you put those in your link, you try to get other people to click on it. Then they pay. And then you get a cut of their money. And then they promote it. And then it goes on and on. Where you infinitely just get a cut. Now basically what he's doing is a, a pyramid scheme. It's just a pyramid scheme. And it's just the lurid people sign up for pay, and the cycle repeats and repeats and repeats until we're all our own Star Wars Force Ghosts ourselves, watching them from our uh, very poor Star Wars homes. Because you know we're, we we are very poor because we we did we watched Star Wars and we we kept our movie. Now all of this is pretty scummy in itself, but it's more worse when you see the message he promotes, which is largely full of misogyny. Again. Play the generic take clip of him, uh, you know, being rude to women. Uh, there you go. Now, he's kind of really 
he talks about how much of a genius he is, but he kind of is a marketing genius. Says he says he's able to convince people to sign up for this pyramid scheme, and it's working. If it wasn't working, I wouldn't be making a video about it right now. So it's a quite interesting topic as well. So I mean, where we are right now, he is constantly evolving like a Pokemon. Recently, he has included his brother in these videos I've seen as well as writing this video. And his brother is probably the only absolute Sigma male that can contain Tate and Tate's Sigma grind set. Now, in conclusion, Tate may be ruining the future generation, but overall, it's relatively harmless. Is he Jesus?